there are also a number of different Boolean operators, and this may seem a little stranger to you than adding numbers or jamming uh, sets of characters together. So Boolean um, operations essentially produce results that are either true or false. In other words, the result of that operation is either true or false. And so here are some of the operations. Some of them are only composed of single characters. Some of them are composed of two characters. So um, the equal equal sign is the equivalence operator. The exclamation point equal sign is the not equal to operator. And then this is greater than, this is less than, this is greater than or equal to, this is less than or equal to. So let's see what happens if we try this out on several different things. So if I, I can ask um, whether the string cat is equivalent to the string dog by, by uh, operating on them with the equivalence operator. So this should produce an answer that's either true or false. Then I see that the answer is false because the string dog is not the same thing as the string cat. On the other hand, if I ask, is the string cat equal to the string cat, that is true. And then if I use the not equal operator, the question that I'm asking is, is the string dog not equal to the string cat? And that is actually true because dog is not equal to cat. I can also use these operators on numbers. So for example, if I want to ask, is the number eight equal to the number nine? Uh, it will say that that is false. If I ask, is the number eight equal to the number eight? That is true. So the equivalence and not equal to operator can be used with either letters or numbers. Um, now let's try this operator with the um, numbers two and three. Is two, the, so the question is, is three greater than two? The answer is true. Now here's an interesting one. I'm asking the question, is two greater than two? The answer of that is false. True is not great, two is not greater than true. Two is equal to two. So that evaluates as false. But if I use the greater than or equal to operator, then I get a value of true because two is greater than or equal to two. It is in fact equal to two. Now you might wonder what happens if I use these kind of operators here on something like cats and dogs, and you might expect that that would throw an error, but actually it turns out it does not. If I ask, is dog greater than cat? The answer is true. Now, cat owners out there do not start throwing rotten fruit at me because it does not actually mean that dogs are greater than cats. What it actually means is, is, the word, is this string further along in alphabetical order than the second string? And dog is in fact later than cat in alphabetical order. If I take these strings out, and switch them around and ask, is cat greater than dog? Now it will say false. Um, so what I want to do is put in something like, uh, is elephant greater than dog? True, not because elephants are bigger than dogs, but because uh, elephants are further in the al alphabet than dogs. If I say, um, is uh, aardvark greater than dog, the answer is false because aardvark is earlier in the alphabet than dog. Now, just like any other kind of expression, we can assign the results of Boolean comparisons to a variable. So um, in this example here, I am performing the equivalence operation on the words cat and monkey. So I'm basically asking, is the string cat equivalent to the string monkey? And that's going to evaluate as either true or false. We should expect that it's going to evaluate to false because the two strings are different. 
So that value, false, can then be assigned to the variable same animal, and then we can print the, the value of whether it's true or false. So let's try running that. It says false because the string cat is not the same string as the string monkey. Um, so this is important to notice the difference between one equal sign and two equal sign. Uh, one equal sign is the assignment operator, two equal signs is the equivalence operator. And this is not true in every programming language, but it is true in Python. Now, if I uh, change this and ask is cat equal to cat, then the value of same animal is true. Okay, so this is all rather stupid doing these sorts of things, but we can, if we use an input statement, then we, then the uh, results of the script is going to vary depending on what the person puts in. So for example, the script here asks uh, two input statements, first asking what is your first animal, then what is your second animal, then it compares the first animal to the second animal and is going to evaluate as either true or false. Um, and then it'll take that value and put it here. Now, this is a, actually a tricky thing that I do because I said that um, a lot of times we name variables according to what they are. And so in this case, the question is, are they the same animal or not? So if the value of same animal is true, then that means that these evaluated as true. So I've picked a name for my variable that makes sense based on what it is that it holds. If they're the same animal, it'll hold the value true. If they're different animals, it'll hold the value false. And if, like I said before, that's only because, it's not because Python is smart and somehow magically knows that the variable same animal uh, has that information, but it's because of the way that I assigned its value that the way I did that assignment is going to cause same animal to hold true if what the person types in first and what they type in second is the same. So let's go ahead and run this code. So if I type in my first animal is cat, my second animal is cat, it says first animal same as second animal, true. Okay, let's go back and run the code again. First animal, dog, second animal, cat. Cat is not equal to dog, so it evaluates as false.